There's been a lot of talk about the 1998 team recently, and I'll talk about them more in a minute. The Yankees are pacing their record, but on this day in 1998, David Wells tossed the 15th perfect game in Major League Baseball history and the second in team history. It was against the Minnesota Twins at Yankee Stadium in front of a packed Beanie Baby-induced crowd of 49,820. David Wells was just completely dominant that day. Anybody who watched that game could tell you how pinpoint his control was with every pitch. He was spotting everything on the corners. He had a nice, crisp fastball. His breaking ball was diving into the dirt. The Twins had no idea what to do with him. A couple of starts prior, he had been pitching against the Texas Rangers, and the Yankees jumped out to a really good lead, and David Wells kind of coughed it up and showed a lot of bad body language on the mound and was kind of rude to Joe Torre when Joe Torre took him out. And so Joe Torre called him out in the press and said, you know, maybe he's out of shape. Maybe he needs to lose some weight. And then just a couple of starts later, perfection. All right, it may not last, but we're going to have fun with it while it does. The Yankees are currently chasing the home field advantage, and they're on historic pace. 52 home runs so far this season. That's first in the American League. 2.72 ERA for the team. That's first in the American League. This has led to a plus 73 run differential first in Major League Baseball. The Yankees have won 74.3% of their games. If they win tonight, it'll be an even 75%. Right now, they are on pace for 120 wins. Swinging the bat well, Josh Donaldson hitting 311 in May with a 959 OPS. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa now for over a month, if you minus those three off days because of rainouts, about a month, hitting 322. Very nice start for Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. The Yankees are pacing the 1998 team, which won 114 games. They were at 31 wins before they lost their 10th game of the season. I was wrong. I keep saying 32 and 10, but it was actually 31 wins before they lost their 10th game. We're not there yet, but this is starting to feel like a really fun summer. Lineup for tonight's game against the Orioles as they try and get another win streak going. DJ LeMahieu, 0 for 5 last night. He's back in there at third base. Aaron Judge out there in the lineup once again. He slides over to center field. Anthony Rizzo broke out of a slump last night with a big home run. He is at first base. John Carlos Stanton gets duties in right field for the second night in a row. Josh Donaldson really having a good May. We'll get to that in a minute. He is your designated hitter. Glaber Torres has been having some good at bats. A couple of hits last night. He is your second baseman. Joey Gallo, G-A-L-L-O. Looking to bounce back after a tough night. He is out there in left field. Jumbo package alert. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa hitting 300 plus for the last month. He is at shortstop. And Kyle Higashioka is behind the dish. I think this is a pretty solid lineup. This is about the best lineup we can put out there right now. And on the mound, coming off of a pretty good start against the Toronto Blue Jays in which he picked up his third victory of the season, Jamison Tyone. Last time out, he went five and a third, gave up two earned runs. He's just been a different pitcher since this time last year when he began mixing his pitches a little bit differently. So far on the season, having a very nice year. Three and one record, 2.93 ERA. He has spun 30 and two thirds innings, struck out 25. But what really stands out to me is just three walks. That is an 8.33 to one strikeout to walk ratio good for a 1.174 whip very impressive 0.8 war on the season I think it's safe to say that Jamison Tyone has taken the next step in his career and he's become that pitcher that got him drafted number two overall can't wait to see what he gives us for the rest of the year remember last season he peaked in July had some ankle issues down the stretch but he was having a very nice season if he's healthy watch out All right, yesterday's prediction as part of the freeze was for John Carlos Stanton to go deep. He was kept in the ballpark despite three Yankees home runs. Tonight's prediction, 27th win for the New York Yankees. We're going straight up or down. And Nostra Derek's batting average sits at 
444 for the season. I'm trying to get back up to 500. Need a W tonight to get me going. And by the way, the Nostra Derek pregame prediction is sponsored by Prize Picks. It's an exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. I wish I knew about it sooner. It's so easy, it's so much fun. Download the Prize Picks app and use the code NYYRECAPS or click the link in the description of this video and they'll match your first deposit up to $100. It's available in the App Store. It's got a ton of great reviews. Prize picks and use the code NYYRECAPS, no spaces. Hey, Derek. I think we need to talk about with the Yankees why they're firing on all cylinders, and it's really because they're getting a different level of production than they were last year from really every single position. Judd and Stanton are going off the way they were at the end of the year last year at the beginning of this year. Hicks, while not doing a ton of stuff at the plate, especially the runs and scoring position, adds speed to the base pass that we didn't have we didn't have last year. And Joe Gallo, why he looks like he can't hit a beach ball most days, he's still enough of a homer threat that he's able to pop one every now and then and make pitchers think twice before pitching to him. NYY Recaps, how you doing, brother? I'm calling because I want to know if you agree with Jason in trading Aaron Judge as soon as possible. And second, I want to say that we need to apologize to Brian Cashman, us as Yankee fans collectively, for the simple fact that this team is producing right now. Thank you. On Aaron Judge, uh, no. I was watching the game tonight, and I was watching uh, Chapman pitch, and, uh, you know, it seems that every now and then when uh, – you know, when they have a four or five run lead, they'll run him out there to quote unquote give him some work, and he looks okay. But when he gets into a, a closing situation where there's only a one or two run lead, uh, and, uh, you know, it's a little higher leverage, he just seems to fall apart. And, uh, I was just wondering what your opinion is on that. Chapman is a mystery wrapped inside of a riddle, wrapped inside of an enigma. It's anybody's guess how he's going to pitch on any given night. But usually the sweatier he is, the better. Hey, Derek, it's Daniel, a.k.a. Board Recon. I just wanted to tell you, man, I appreciate everything you're doing for us. The content is great. Um, I look forward to your post games just as much as I look forward to watching the games. And uh, go Yankees, man. Thanks. You asked for it, and you've got it. Voicemails have come to NYY Recaps. Make your voice heard. Better call in. The number is 718-899-1068. That's 718-Yogi, Judge, Scooter, Dellen. Better call in. 